My favorite new addition to Logic 10.7.5 is the ability to record the output of your MIDI effects plugins. This allows you to instantly record the transformed MIDI data from the MIDI effects plugins into the tracks area. Previously, you could do this by hacking your IAC bus, but that was a pretty complicated workaround, so I'm really happy to have this new feature built right into Logic. So I've got a beat here, and I want to add a synth bass and a synth pad to this. Let's say that on my synth bass, I want to add an arpeggiator to give the bass a bit of motion. So on its own, the bass just sounds like this. But if I add in the arpeggiator, I'll turn on grid mode, and I'll create a grid pattern here. Maybe I'll go with variation 2 and octave range 2. So the arpeggiator is giving my bass some motion so I don't have to play in all of those notes individually. Now previously I could record my MIDI data and it would just record the notes that I'm holding and the arpeggiator would interpret the pattern. So the notes that would actually be recorded would just be the whole notes I was holding down. I can go ahead and quantize these and trim them, but the arpeggiator is still doing all of the work here. <laughs> Now, if you want to record any of the MIDI data from your MIDI effects plugins directly into the tracks area, you can click right here on any of the MIDI effects and then select record MIDI to track here. And you'll see these little orange indicators showing the position in the MIDI effects plugin chain where the signal will be recorded into the tracks area. <laughs> Now what you'll see happens is the arpeggiator outputs the transformed MIDI data and it's recorded directly onto the track. You can see everything is perfectly quantized. Everything has been arpeggiated according to the parameters I set within the arpeggiator. So this makes getting your processed MIDI data into the tracks area super quick and super easy. Now this can be done with any of the MIDI effects plugins. So for example, if I wanted to use the chord trigger on my synth pad here, I might select one of these keyboard voicing presets. I'll go with diatonic right hand, and I'll go ahead and make sure I set my key to a minor to match the key of my bass line. Now without the chord trigger, I'm just gonna play a few notes on my keyboard. But with chord trigger in, it transforms these individual notes into fully voiced chords. And if I wanted the voicing of all of these chords to be recorded directly into the tracks area, I could record the output of the chord trigger by selecting that same option here. And if I open up the MIDI region, you'll see that all of the chords are now present for each of those notes that I played. And I can go ahead and just quantize all of these to the grid and then repeat my region. And all of the transformed MIDI data has been recorded directly into my MIDI regions. <laughs> Now this also works with multiple MIDI effects plugins. So let's say in addition to my chord trigger, maybe I also wanted the velocity processor on here. Maybe I wanted to set a value, a set value for my velocities. And then maybe I also wanted to add the arpeggiator to this. What I could do is I could choose any of these MIDI effects to record the output into the tracks area. So if I wanted to record the transformed MIDI signal going through all three of these MIDI effects plugins, this is now possible. One last thing I want to explain is how the MIDI effects plugins are managed once you've set the recording point in the MIDI signal chain. 
You can record the signal off the output of any of the MIDI effects plugins, whether it's the first plugin in the chain, the second plugin, or further down the chain. For example, if I set this to the velocity processor, now the MIDI signal will be recorded with the effects from the chord trigger and velocity processor, but not the arpeggiator. Once you record your MIDI, you do not have to bypass the plugins that come before the recording point, because the real-time MIDI processing only happens after the recording point, when you play back the track. So if I play this back, only the arpeggiator is going to be interpreting the MIDI data from the track, because the chord trigger and velocity processor have already been baked into my MIDI recording. So that's the new MIDI effects record to tracks function in Logic 10.7.5. This is a super helpful and long-awaited addition.